It's the final round of the 101st playing of the PGA Championship up at Page Black in Farmingdale, New York. Everybody chasing Brooks Kepka for the Wanamaker Trophy. He's out in front by seven going into the final round. We're on the 17th hole, and this is Lucas Beregard, four over in his first PGA Championship on the par three. How do you play a par three? How about like that? Just slam dunks the thing right in the hole, beautifully done. His playing partner, also a Lucas, this is Lucas Glover, out of the sand and into the hole. Both guys finishing three over for the day and the tournament, the beautiful stuff on 17. To the 12th hole, Patrick Canelay, eight foot putt for bogey and this one pushes lefty double bogey and fall back to 90, turns in a 71. He's two under for the tournament and that is well back of Brooks Kepka. On the 15th hole, Jordan Speed trying to get his game together. Eight foot birdie putt. Oh, it's the lip on that one. He left a lot of birdies out there. He finishes with a 71 and two under for the tournament as well. The Englishman Matt Wallace turned in a 72 on Sunday. Here he is at the 12th and missing a nine foot bogey putt there, but he was one of six golfers under par at this event. So impressive stuff from Wallace. This turned out to be a two horse race. Brooks Kepka on the very first hole, par putt from 12 feet out, that one just trails out right. Start of a bit of a struggle for Brooks Kepka. He's really been in control all week long, but he had a bit of difficulty today. Dustin Johnson, meanwhile, on the fourth hole with the chip and roll as he lays it right up next to the cup and he would tap that one in for birdie and he was at six under part than the birdie putt from eight feet away on the six hole that one goes down and here comes dj he's at seven under par on the ninth hole approach shot with a seven iron dribbles this one and gets it up close for an easy birdie putt one of the best shots of the day there his third birdie on the front nine got him to eight under par at the 11th hole brooks kepka Third shot here, he's at 13 under par, so he looks like he's in control, right? Well, the third shot falls off the green and he would bogey that hole. So that dropping back to 12 under par, getting a little closer to Dustin Johnson as that one just continues to trickle and trickle and trickle off the front of the green. At the 13th hole, it's Kepka on the par five in trouble hitting from the gallery and he hits this one over the fairway into position for a five foot par putt and that one just burns the right edge sort of lifts out his third straight bogey and the ship is taking on water if you're brooks kepka at the 15th hole for johnson meanwhile working on a birdie here and this one just stayed in the right side the whole way and so dustin johnson gets it to eight under par Par putt from seven feet away on the 16th for Dustin sitting at eight under par. He's a shot back at this point from Brooks Kepka and couldn't hold the line on that one. So he loses a stroke, drops back to seven under par. We go to the next hole, the 17th of par three, and this another long par effort, and he loses that one as well. So he drops back to six under par on the day, and that's where he'd finish on the tournament at the 18th hole. Brooks Kepka, after pitching out after a wayward drive, this his third shot and the approach is just beautiful. Sticks it right up on the green and with his father watching, it's a five foot putt for par and the championship and Kepka sinks it. He's the back to back PGA champion. He finishes at eight under par for the weekend, two ahead of Dustin Johnson. He's the first person ever to win back-to-back -back at the U.S. Open and the PGA Championship.